how to install and download mods from CurseForge. Let's take a look. All right, so we find ourselves on CurseForge.com and let's take a look at how we can download and install Minecraft mods over here. So we, of course, want to go to Minecraft and let's just say I really want to download Create over here. Let's go. So I can get to Create and I can download it, right? So I can get to the download button right here and I can specify what the version is, what the mod loader is that I want, and I can download this file, right? And if I download this, you can see it's going to download after a couple of seconds. There you go. So now I have the jar file and I can basically put that into the mods folder of my Minecraft installation and then play it given I have Forge installed as well, right? So this is that especially new people are a little bit confused by what is this, you know, Forge fabric? What is all of this craziness, right? So if I, for example, go to JEI, you can see that it is available for Forge fabric and Neo Forge. What do these mod loaders mean, right? A lot of new people are always confused by this because fair enough, it is very confusing. This is why I highly recommend instead of, you know, downloading these things manually, you actually get the Curse Forge app. This is going to make your life way easier. In this instance, you can download it standalone. You don't have to download it with Overwolf. That is just an additional add-on that has some other features. You can, of course, take a look at this, but the standalone works totally fine for our purposes here. There's also more download options. So if you have a Mac or a Linux, you can also, of course, use these. In our case, we're just going to download the CurseForge standalone right here. And you can see, there it is. I'm going to now install this. This is basically going to be installed like any other program onto your PC. You can see, you can select your language right here, next right here, then where you want this installed. But sadly, you can't change the installation folder right here, but that is fine because this is just the actual program itself. So this is just the exe file. All of your different profiles and stuff like that, you can actually put into a different folder. So no worries at all. Next, this is for in-app in -app ads. You can hit manage right here and you can turn on and off certain ads. Hey, I don't want ads from, you know, this from this specific ad vendor. Usually reject all purposes, save and exit, and you're pretty much good to go. Then you will be only tracked as much as it is needed. Right, there we go. Now, this is loading up and what is going to happen is that this is going to start to look at my library. Now, in my case, right, when it comes to my mod packs, it's going to be filled with a lot of stuff because, of course, I've already used this plenty before. In your case, it's going to be empty, but that is totally fine. One thing that is very important in the settings right here, under Minecraft, what you can do is right here, Minecraft modding folder. So you, you basically always want to change this if you have a different place where you want all of the mods and all of this to download, right? If you don't want this to all be on C, you can change it right here in the settings and then the game specific for Minecraft. Apart from that, now if we want to install a mod pack, we can just go to browse right here and you can see there are a bunch of different mod packs that we could in theory install, right? Let's say for example, you know what? I really want to try the RL craft mod pack absolutely no worries. You just click install and now it's going to do everything on its own, right? It's going to download everything. It's going to install the mods right here. And we can even see in our mod packs over here, if I go down here to the RL craft, you can see it's currently installing all of this. And this, you know, then just takes a little moment, right? Until everything is downloaded. So in this case, just be patient, let it all download. And once it's done, we can, without doing anything else, immediately jump into the game and with this specific mod pack of 187 mods. And there we go, it's now done and I can just hit the play button right here and then the Minecraft launcher will open. This sometimes takes a while and on the on your first time opening this, you will not be logged in, that's quite important. So you will have to log in. This is the normal Minecraft launcher. You can even see there are different installations that you can use here as well. But in this case, it is our Lcraft, we hit play. This comes up because we have mods installed. We, of course, need to understand the risks. But overall, mods downloaded from CurseForge should basically all be fine. But make sure to keep this in mind if you ever download mods from anywhere else. We can then hit play. And then after preparing everything, Minecraft, after a couple of seconds, is going to start right here. There we go. There we go. And it's basically loading up everything. And once it has initialized and is loading up, we're then going to be in the game. There we go. Our Lcraft is installed and it is all here. Absolutely amazing. Now, using already made mod packs is pretty cool, but I think that the one thing that you want to know how to do is how to create your own mod packs, quote unquote, or your own custom profiles. Well, that is very easy indeed. Under the Minecraft over here, you can just click create custom profile. You can then choose a name, my very cool mod pack. You can choose the Minecraft version. In this case, I'll choose 120.2 because that's basically where most mods preside. You can see there are different game types. You can choose Forge, Fabric, Quilt, Neo Forge, and Vanilla. Those are the different mod loaders that we've discussed. In this case, I'm just going to do a Forge mod pack over here for 
47.1.3 because I know that that is the version that a lot of mods are still compatible with. Right, and then I'm going to create. And now the really cool thing is that we're inside of this. And if I click on the add content button here, right, this little puzzle piece, then it's going to search for mods. So this is going to be all mods that are compatible with Forge and the version. So it's going to be auto filtering this, right? So if I then want to say, well, I want create, right? Let's go create. Let's go. I'm going to add create right here. I want maybe Alex's mobs and I also want Alex's caves. Absolutely no worries. And usually, if the mod authors properly upload the mods, then all the mods that are listed right here should be compatible with the version that we have selected. Now, of course, there might always be issues with certain mods, but regardless, basically, I can install this and there you go. And then under the mods right here, I can see all of the mods that I have installed. Pretty neat. You can even see that Citadel right here has been added automatically. This is because this is a dependency of both Alex's caves as well as Alex's mobs, right? The mobs there need some special things that Citadel adds, right? This is sort of a library that helps to create the mobs from both of these different mods over here. And that is why it gets downloaded automatically. If this was not the case, then you would have to, you know, start the game. It would say, hey, you need this mod and you need to download this manually. And if you have a lot of mods, that would get really tiring really quickly. Therefore, it just downloads them automatically. It's pretty neat. But yeah, with this done, we can now hit play. And the same thing goes, right? It's going to open the launcher. This is going to be the same launcher that we had before. So once you logged into this once, you should not have to log into this again. You can see this is now my very cool mod pack right here. Once again, we understand the risks. We hit play. And after a couple of seconds, you can see it has to download some Minecraft files. You can then see that Minecraft is slowly starting over here. And once it's done, you can see eight mods loaded. So you can see we have Forge. We even have Flywheel. This is the one for Create, Citadel, Alexis Caves, Alexis Mobbed. And I also have JI installed. So there you go. And that's basically how to download and install mods with Curse Forge. If you also want to know how to do this with Modrinth, you can take a look at the left video. And the right video is just the video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy the most. Hope to see you in one of those. So yeah.